Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to European Assault for the Extended Timeline. I'm your lovely host, Galvin. So, in the coming years, we're getting a new ship, I believe. Uh, where the hell do I see that again? Technology? Yeah. We're getting an early galley. Ooh. Ooh, Nelly. Early galleys. Yeah. We're also going to need some transports. Really badly. Ooh, 525, not bad. Uh, but you know. So we're going to start building some transports here. I'm going to need 10 of them. So let's build 10 transports. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There. Now, the reason we're building these transports, and we'll eventually get, be getting a galley, is because I've started putting in my own ideas. I thought I properly coded the, uh, the localization for this one, but... I... it's not working yet. We'll get to it. We'll get to it. We will get to it. However, our traditions have changed. It allows us to re recruit explorers and conquistadors, and allows adjacent territory to be automatically discovered if we build a colony there. It's mostly just for later here, internally. Um, notice how we don't get any colonists from it, so I'm not going to be able to start colonizing super early and take over all of Africa. I specifically avoided that. I'm not silly. I wouldn't, you know, allow something so broken. But uh, the point of the Explorer's Conquistadors is just mostly so I can eventually perhaps discover Parthia. Discover India. You know, regions like that. We can't exactly go very far. Our uh, naval range is rather limiting. Like, I'd be impressed if we could make it to fucking Indonesia. Without, you know, our ship just dying on the way there. So, I'm not really particularly worried I'd anything that's overpowered it's mostly if I want to keep this LP at all even remotely interesting and have an episode in the next 300 years I've got to have the ability to explore like I just can't not is, is the way to put it all right so that's good and hopefully how many more no one, we need to wait two more years, or 202 will be when we can finally acquire that. Cool. Form an alliance with the Roman Empire, protect against Parthia, nothing that we can do. I've been keeping uh, Roman Empire relations as high as possible. Very important. Oh, geez, a 9.1 revolt risk? What the hell happened while I wasn't looking? Oh, they have an active missionary there. Wait. Again, Hellenic. Oh. Hmm. Interesting. It appears the Roman Empire is uh, orthodox now. They've uh, given up and converted. That happens eventually. Alright. So. At this In this new year, we'll be recruiting a new ship. And we will be piloting it with a conquistador. All right. Explorer. That, that's, that's the guy we're sticking on it. And with that, we're going to be sending vast numbers of troops. Yes, the western satraps will become our target. Also, I'm pretty certain my boats are, like, patrolling into an area I can't see. That's... I, I'm starting to notice this. It's a bit of a problem. Um... Yeah. Oh, they, no, they're, oh, they're just going up there. Fair enough. Either way. It's time we set off to explore. I hope they collapse the next way. Yeah, they converted quickly. They might actually survive. Um, I know around 385 they're just doomed, though. They, they, they will be doomed. Doom. Doom. And it's time for the early galley. Ah, yes. That only cost us all of our points. But we got them. That makes it... Actually slower than a merchant ship. Never mind. I thought for sure that would be fast. But, um... Nope. We're just gonna take a merchant ship then. To, uh, head the exploration. 
Uh, that was uh, anticlimactic. I apologize. Let's look around some areas where we're probably safe. Indo-Parthia and Parthia have gone to war, I see. Speaking of which, we just met Indo-Parthia and we just met Parthia. <laughs> Hooray! Now, in the year 385, all the barbarian tribes that are adjacent to Rome will declare war on Rome. That's how it works. So there are the western set traps. This is anticipated. Very good. Get them into port. Alright. There should be a stable government. Ignore them. I think that's about as far as we're getting. Any farther would be silly. Yeah, just out of range there. Alright, cool. That's fine. Let's start patrolling. There. Just try and discover this coastal region. Cool. So, hey, Indoparthia. How's that war going? Terrible. Glad to hear it. Hey, with some satraps. I and Kalinka. Who cares? Let's... Alright, so I have a plan here. I've been using Terra Incognita to see while, well, you know, things are off. And I've devised a bit of a strategy. And we're going to go... We're going to go invading. The uh, Indoparthia here. Butter. Butter guy. Neutral attitude. Uh, military access would be nice. Alright, I guess we have to drop them manually in the port. Alright. So, either way, we're going to be coming down here. And... The plan is to invade the western straps. We will need a diplomat to send, but that's fine. We can acquire one easily enough. Alright. We're going to send 30 troops over, probably. I'm thinking. Uh, let's put a conquistador on him. That way he can poke around a little bit and hopefully find some stuff. That way, you know, we have places to stand. That's kind of what I'm worried about. I don't want to stack up all my guys and then take a bunch of uh, attrition on. Oh, no. You guys continue protecting trade. It didn't want didn't want to bother them. You guys, I don't know. You guys might as well just uh, head back to protecting trade. If I could find the rest of the fleet, whatever, just protect trade on your own. You'll be fine. Either way, we're gonna continue to ferry troops over here. Head up to Upper Sind. Our 30 soldiers should be enough. Woohoo! Level 8. We're getting up there. Ooh, a ceremonial fire pit. If only we were natives. If only we were natives. That's uh, basically, yeah. <laughs> the natives will get a new building soon. How nice. Alright. I and Kalinga. I don't even know where that is, and I know Kalinga's over here, so I don't think I'm too worried. That's a pretty decent general. Alright, cool. So we're gonna try this. We're gonna see how well it goes. Probably poorly. But, you never know. Let's move up forward. They're going to run over into Kutch. That's expected. They'll win there. They have level 9 military tech. Damn. That's going to make things tricky. And the relief team. And then relief team number 2. God damn, this is stupid. We might win. I don't know. It's kind of close. Holy shit, we won. 
Fuck yeah. Eat that. Eat it. Also, that. <laughs> cool. We, uh... It won't even take white piece. Okay, so we're just gonna have to start using our vast quantity of quantity of money, I think. Let's build mercs and a lot of mercs, preferably. You there. You over here. Get these mercs up. Merc up, bitches. Let's go. Everyone must get. Let's go. <laughs> we need to get our reinforcements in right away. They're dying over there. And I need, but they can't move yet. So we need to get our reinforcements in soon. Only six more available. I have enough for another load. Come on here. You guys saying you can't beat Ethiopians? Jeez. Pretty pathetic. Even World War II Italy beat Ethiopians. Okay. Good, you guys can finally move. Uh, who has the siege? You? All right, and the two of you leave there. Uh, stop. Uh, use caution. They'll lose, obviously. That's okay. Yeah, that's gonna go terribly for you. Maybe. It's hard to say sometimes. No, I sent them all in too quickly. I need to spread them out more. Wait. Oh, yeah, not this shit again. Whatever. The, this army is, yeah. This is kind of bullshit. Uh, where I basically can't choose where to retreat. And they're basically just going to follow me to my death. Which is really silly that I can't choose where I retreat to. And I should be able to. But I can't. Basically, I'm trapped in a loop until the game decides to th throw me out at the right region. Because it seems to think that all regions are equal. No, nope, I'm just going to lose my entire army. Because that's the way the game decides to fucking play. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, some bullshit there. I really wish Paradox would fix it, because the way it handles fucking uh, military access is stupid. The game basically doesn't recognize military access as a thing when retreating. It just pretends that it doesn't exist. That is, that is hostile territory that you cannot enter while retreating, as it is. Which is just silly. As I'm sure many people will agree. It's, it, has, it makes absolutely no sense the way that is. Holy shit, we just lost... We just took a lot of war exhaustion on for that. Fix ourselves up a little bit here, shall we? At least. Okay. Uh, What are we doing here? Uh, something. Okay, I'm starting to see how long until we have that. And the answer appears to be two more years. Or maybe one more. We'll see. But, yeah. First off, all ships report there. Second off, all ships report there. That's... I was trying to delay until the rest of the fleet gets there. It's 
five transports, you can win. Good. Alright, everyone to Muscat. Let's, take, let's just heal him up. Alright, I'm using Mercs because otherwise I'm just going to run out of manpower. Fucking 30 days for Mercs? What is this shit? War exhaustion, probably. Reduce it. Keep that war exhaustion down. All right. So, you'll be the first load over. Uh That fuck up. Where the fuck are the tra uh, transport boats? It Okay, on board. Let's try that again. Right, this time we've got them blockaded pretty good. Um, their leader is bad at fi at shock, so he's effectively useless as a leader. All right, we almost have a second stack of mercs here. Keyword almost. Seriously, I really wouldn't mind it if we could get, you know, that next level in military tech. Two more months? Okay. I can wait two months. That gives us equal. That gives us equal military tech. That gives us a bit better of a chance. We'll actually have the same morale as they do. Which is good. Alright. Now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Let's get out of here before uh, they all finish. Bring them right on over. Yeah, you guys aren't taking damage there. That's good. Okay. Yeah, they'll be fine. I'm surprised that no one else is, like, helping them. But this war has kind of come to a bit of a standstill. And that war exhaustion is getting good. Good and high. That's what I like to see. I'm hoping, eventually, there might be some revolts. However, they're at level 3 stability. They have national defense, so that's going to make things trickier. I mean, our war exhaustion shouldn't really be going up at all, so there's that. But, uh, yeah, phase one of the war is complete. We now have standing army for an additional 0.10 morale. That puts us up to 0.69. How the fuck does that even work? Why are you at 0 0.69? I would like to know why morale is 0 0.69. That's extremely low. That is extremely low, I think. Um, kind of worryingly low, actually. Maybe that's why I'm having a lot of trouble here. Because I don't expect my morale to be that low. When shit like that happens. We'll see. Anyway, thank you everybody for watching. As always, this has been your lovely host, Galvin, signing off.